back with another deadlift progress video and as usual I want to share a training tip with you. Today I want to talk about intensity, training intensity. Now training with intensity means a lot of different things to different people. For me training intensity relates to how much effort you're putting into the workout. So this has a lot to do with how much physical exertion, how much physical effort you're putting into it but there's also a very strong mental component to it as well. And this is extremely important especially when you're doing one rep maximum, one rep max effort workouts. So today I'm going to be aiming for uh, about 500 for one, my one rep max, so I have to train with a lot of intensity. This means when I go into the workout, you have to make sure that your mind is clear of any inhibitions, any doubt, get rid of any negative thoughts. You know that you're going to be successful in that lift and you're dedicating every ounce of your energy into it. I find it also helps to uh, identify yourself as something other than human. Uh, visualize yourself as some sort of unstoppable machine or a beast or an animal of some kind. This really helps you bring out that inner intensity. Another thing that helps you train with maximum intensity is supplementation. Using supplements such as stimulants can help you bring out that next level of intensity. So for today's pre-workout, a la Cali Muscle, I'm going to be working with Hyphy Mud. Thanks Cali. But I'm going to be uh, taking this to a whole special kind of stupid and I'm going to be using Monster instead of the uh, typical soda. So you need your heaping spoonful of instant coffee. I'm going to bring up that Monster. Oh yeah. Calling this hyphy monster mud. Mmm. Look at that delicious goodness. Let's mix that up. Mmm. See how this goes down. some beta alanine about half an hour ago. It's just kicking in right now. My face feels like it's being eaten by fire ants. I don't much like taking beta alanine, but I'm hoping it'll help out today. So I'll catch up with you when we hit the tents. Just to eliminate any confusion, before we get started here, I wanted to show you that I do have a couple of different size plates. Uh, in another video, someone was asking if these were 35s. Most of the 45s I have are this size here. Um, as you can see, they're a little smaller diameter than a typical 45. And uh, that's why I grabbed a few of these odd, larger, regular 45 pound plates. Just so that I'm pulling from the same height off the floor. So yes, there will be a couple of different size plates, but they are all 45s. As usual, I like to warm up with a few glute hamstring raises to really fire up the posterior chain. I find this really locks everything in and helps me feel tight and ready for my deadlifts. Then I move on to a few warm-up sets, gradually working up to my working weight, uh, keeping the reps low and just focusing on solid technique. One tool I found really helpful with deadlifting is this deadlift jack. It makes it really easy and convenient to unload and load up weights on the bar, especially like during a lot of warm-up sets. A uh, buddy of mine welded this one for me, but I'm pretty sure you can pick these up on, uh, online as well. So I'm gradually moving up in weight here. I'm going to pull a rep at 455 before moving up to uh, my working weight, 500 pounds. And that felt pretty good, pretty easy, so I'm looking forward to the 500. But I'm going to crack an ammonia smelling salts here just for that little extra kick. Oh yeah. Locked and loaded and ready to go. And it was a fast and easy pull, so I'm pumped to go up again in a couple of weeks. 500, even. Whew. One tip I found very helpful with the deadlift is to visualize pushing through the floor. So just locking your upper body in, engaging those lats, and then thinking about leg drive.